plan for this. What is this? Law of 2,500 calories? Here's what the globalists have planned for you in 2030. But there's already a plan for this. And the World Economic Forum calls them smart cities, which seems great. Progressive urban designers, like the UK headquartered uh, ARUP group, they have their own section on the WEF website. They're gaming what smart cities might look like. It's kind of exciting. What would life be like in these cities? Well, here you go. Their plan for 2030, your family will eat zero amounts of meat and zero amounts of dairy. Each person will be restricted to 2,500 calories a day. What? Each family member will only receive three new items of clothing per year. This is on the World Economic site. There will be zero privately owned vehicles. This article on the uh, website actually quotes Klaus Schwab and his references uh, in the fourth industrial revolution. They talk about utilizing technologies like 5G, quantum computing, artificial intelligence. Bro, this is one of the only people that got fired from Fox for being too unhinged. I just want you to understand how insane he was because he had like a, what was he addicted to? What, what was his addiction? For like literally doing Fox News too much, okay? Think about that. Fox News loves insane conspiracy theorists on their broadcast. And Glenn Beck was fired for, quote, reshaping the built environment. The World Economic Forum is sus. We need to drop that everything is a conspiracy rhetoric. There are harmful organizations trying to uh, shape society. Oh, my God. Okay, I don't even know what he's talking about here. Like I, But there are so many of these that, like, basically put guidelines on what best practices could be okay that doesn't mean they're cutting your meat chatter are you are you silly are you stupid you think like an entire part an, an incredibly insanely uh, insanely profit driving sector of of uh economic production is just going to be washed away because the world economic forum decided to do so what are you crazy also what's frustrating about like this sort of thing especially when like right-wingers talk about it is that this is your system you you designed it to be this way you're literally mad that like the institutional hegemonic superpowers that are basically built designed to reinforce capitalist modes of living and capitalist modes of production are you know doing other on top of whatever they're doing it's so frustrating i'm stupid what's stopping them if they are the world hearth or org like that it's just not happening because they're because it's mostly not happening because there's no way for it there's no mechanism and also you're making money off of it okay people just like look to guidelines on what could happen uh people could uh, or, or or what should happen potentially in the future and like lose their minds and make it seem like it's like a, supposed to be a mandate that it will be backed by force or something. Exciting. What would life be like in these cities? Well, here you go. Their plan for 2030, your family will eat zero amounts of meat and zero amounts. Like it literally says ambitious target and a progressive target. Consumption intervention, dietary change. This intervention is characterized by three major changes, which are described in more detail. Of dairy. Each person will be restricted to 2,500 calories a day. What? Each family member will only receive three new items of clothing per year. This is on the world economics. It's so funny. Like, here's why the World Economic Forum is never going to do this. Okay. Because the World Economic Forum and every other capitalist institution is unironically designed to uphold the exact same system that this is supposedly curbing back. How are you going to go after fast fashion? Explain to me how you're going to go after fast fashion. How are you going to go after the agricultural production? Okay, like what, what are you talking about? Yet again, psychotic right wing delusional conspiracy theorists hyper focusing on like all of the marketing techniques of the World Economic Forum to like appeal to liberals, okay? And to reinforce in that way, 
capitalist uh, hegemony. There will be zero privately owned vehicles. This article on the uh, website actually quotes Klaus Schwab and his references uh, in the fourth industrial revolution. They talk about utilizing technologies like 5G, quantum computing, artificial intelligence for, quote, reshaping the built environment. I got to tell you, this is the scariest stuff I have yeah. ever written. I mean, Utopians in 1984, that stuff couldn't be done 20 years ago. This is George Orwell on steroids, and it all can be done and is being done. Yeah, the World Economic Forum's big new idea is trying out a planned economy. Yeah, totally going to happen. It's, it's, this is communism, brother. Like, yeah, I mean, that would literally be some level of, like, uh, socialism. But, of course, it, it's for that reason alone, it's never going to happen because you're not going to get an arm of capitalist, uh, an arm that is dedicated to reinforcing capitalist hegemonic culture is not going to turn around and shackle capitalism. Its entire purpose and design is to make it seem as though they are doing something. Maybe this like helps the the Green Party loyalists and and uh, liberals in general. But like, if you think that there is any tooth to this kind of thing, and if you think that there is uh, any sort of, especially as a leftist, if you think that there is anything uh, coming out of this that is like legitimate, then you fundamentally misunderstand uh, materialist analysis. Okay. Also. No politics on uh, Saturday. We're having fun. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You, you whatever. Well, you whatever. You just bro. do a lot of shit. You know, uh, how do I say this? Okay, so I, what I really want to do is I want to get a nutritionist. What do I get on it? First, you got to stop standing like this. <laughs> First off. <laughs> he is zesty, bro. No, no, it's fine. Okay. Okay, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. He is kind of zesty, though. Like... <laughs> Aiden, like, I don't know if Aiden was doing the ha-ha thing or if he was just basically being himself a little bit, living La Vida Loca, if you know what I'm saying. This also plays into... Auntie's about to clip this and call Aiden the F word and, and, and uh, no longer be into Aiden. He's about to be like, nah, this too. <laughs> it's too F wordy for me is what Auntie's about to say. But yeah, no, this is a, this is a bit zesty. I'll be honest. <laughs> Bro, come on. He's got to be. <laughs> so no, they 